Our beer trek of New Zealand began in its largest city, Auckland. We then trekked to picturesque Christchurch in the South Island. Our way back north to the capital city of Wellington is along the eastern coast on another of the great railways of the world, the Coastal Pacific. Jigger is located right beside the suburban rail station in Lower Hutt.
What, what's your biggest selling beer here? That's the draft beer. The draft? The, the, the draft lager? Yeah, the bottom for me, the New Zealand sweet draft, so still can't get New Zealand as away from that at the moment. But uh, following close behind would be the Valley Pale, which is, is, yeah. is nice and hoppy. I beer. really like nice hop, lots, very nice. A lot of sats in there, a lot of lemony. Sats, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Legion interesting. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. From Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we uh, took a, a liter of that home because we really liked that. <laughs> Two liter. <laughs> Two liter, yeah. We really enjoyed that one. <laughs> it, it's real nice to have a, a low alcohol, full flavored beer to enjoy. Yeah. You know, it's really, well, really nice. Five percent. I think that would actually make the value better. It was great at five percent. Mm. But um, <coughs> again, you know, you're paying extra tax on it. Right. And then uh, I guess coming to the third would be the Stoker Dark. It's very mm. popular with uh, younger brokers, more student and sort of style. We're here in Lower Hut, a uh, suburb of Wellington, at the very bottom of the North Island of New Zealand. And we are at the only brew pub in the area, Parrot and Jigger. And I have finally found a session beer outside of Auckland in their Valley Pale Ale. Beautiful, crisp, clear. Mm. And now after the brewer mentioned it, I do detect the Saz hop. Um, wonderful drinking beer at a very drinkable 4% alcohol. I'll have a session. Well, mm. now at 10 a.m.? Mm-hmm. <laughs> suburb of Wellington at the Parrot and Jigger and the place is called Lower Hut and that's just one notch below Jabba the Hut and we're drinking their Southwester Stout. Mmm, strong, dark, lot of rich malty aroma. Very full bodied, not one malt dominates, not roast, not chocolate, not caramel, all the above are here. Very good um, cold weather beer, which is why I'm drinking it. Well, Jeff and I have an ongoing argument on which is colder, the Nor'wester or Sou'wester. Right now, my vote is the Sou'wester because it is pretty darn cold out there. And I'm enjoying the Nor'wester Strong Ale. And it's interesting that a few years ago, most of their big beers, their high alcohol beers, were around 7%. And so that people wouldn't get too tipsy, they had to lower that down. And we noticed last night that a few of the uh, punters never noted the difference. But I don't blame them because these beers taste big. Even though this is only at 5.5%, it tastes much bigger than that. And that's a credit to good brewing methods, and yet it's still very warming on a chilly Wellington day. at the Parrot and Jigger. I'm trying the Stoker Dark. This beer is popular with students in the area, and we speculate it's popular because, well, my dad drinks the pale. I don't want to be seen drinking the beer that dad does. And this beer lasts uh, about four to six weeks in the tank, whereas the uh, stout we had lasts often up to three months because it doesn't move as quickly. You can see, I can't see why any of them don't move, but this one is nice dark malt aroma again with the absence of roast. 4% beer and it tastes of it. A lot of dark malts, a little more hop flavor, a little drier finish. Stoker Dark.
The Parrot and Jigger was once owned by the founder of Ducks Deluxe in Christchurch, and thus have several beers with similar names. Wellington politicians quench their thirst at the Malt House. Richard Emerson opened his brewery on the South Island to bring a taste of Britain to New Zealand. We're here for lunch at the Malt House in downtown Wellington, that's New Zealand's capital. And uh, apparently they've never brewed here, although some said they have. And um, I'm a little bit uncomfortable right now. There's an awful lot of suits, but it is lunchtime. Perhaps it's a different crowd for dinner. I'm drinking Emerson's Bookbinder Bitter from the uh, South Island. Mmm, this beer is all about hops. Lots of hop aroma. <laughs> Lots of hop flavor, fairly dry finish. A little fizzy, but still, just the way I like a bitter. We're at the Malt House, a beautiful beer hall right here overlooking downtown Wellington. And it looks like all the politicians and government workers are having lunch. And we're enjoying a beer from Dunedin, often referred to as the Scotland of the South Island of New Zealand. <laughs> oh, this might not be a Scotch ale, but it's certainly a very big bitter. Bookbinder by name and it's full of big malt flavor. We've had some other beers from the Emerson's Brewery. They've all been excellent, everything from porters to vice beers. This is definitely a brewery you need to look up if you're in the South Island of New Zealand. Cheers. Sunshine Brewing is located on the North Island's east coast. boasts 30 beers on tap, many of which they call naturally carbonated, or natural beers. Not quite sure what that means. Uh, they, all of them seem to be local breweries, like this one from the brewery in Gisborne. This is their stout, and it, you can tell quickly that it has a heavy diacetyl aroma. That is probably acceptable in two beer styles, stout and Czech dark lager. Big heavy beer, definitely the butteriness of the diacetyl cover it with everything else. Um, it's probably what they were aiming for. Have to ask the brewer next time I'm in New Zealand. Roger Pink has his award winning brewery on the northern tip of New Zealand's South Island.
Drinking Mammoth by the Pink Elephant Brewery brewed nearby here in Wellington. Um, the Pink Elephant Brewery took a second place overall with a beer in the New Zealand Hop Awards competition recently. This is their Mammoth. It's a big, strong ale at 7%. Very malty aroma, very sweet. But it's strong and warming, but it's fairly attenuated. It doesn't finish overly sweet, yet it still has a full body. And I could not drink it in mammoth proportions. Well, maybe I can. The Malt House in Wellington has the largest selection of tap beers in New Zealand. Our way back to Auckland took us through exotic, mysterious, and volcanic Rotorua.
A former courthouse was the former location of a brew pub in Rotorua. Pig and Whistle now has their beer contract brewed by a regional brewery. This trek may have been far from home and long, but it was most fulfilling. As we leave New Zealand, a taste of England, and a pearl in the Pacific, a most memorable beer trek.